Hello, Mark Spencer from Ripple Training here, and wanted to tell you a little bit about these Ripple generators that we're offering. Very easy to install and use. Uh, you'll have a DMG file. When you double click it, it will mount, and inside will be a folder called Ripple Generators, and that folder contains each of these generators. All you do is go to your Movies folder. Within your Movie folder, you should have a Motion Templates folder. And you can see right there, I don't have anything in these. These are all the default categories. These are the browsers that show up in Final Cut. You can see I don't have anything in there right now. I'm just going to take these Ripple generators and drag them into the generators folder. Okay, there they go. So now they're in the generators folder, and now I'm going to launch Final Cut Pro. And here comes Final Cut Pro. Once it launches, what you can do is go to the Generators browser right here, there's the tooltip, and select Ripple Generators, and there are the 12 generators. So very easy to get up and running with them. Now, to use them, by the way, I just hit Shift-Z to fit uh, the project to the window here. I'm just going to go to this image here. If you mouse over these, if any of them are animated by default, you'll see the animation in them just by mousing over them. These are animated. Some are not. And also know that you can change these quite a bit from how they look by default. So for instance, I'll just take this guy right here and I'll drag it. Um, I'm going to drag it over here, although I'm not going to show any video under this particular one. I'll select it. I'll go to the inspector. And here in the generator pane, we have the parameters. And this is the motion generator just brought right over here. So right in the canvas, there's often an on-screen control you can use to uh, change the position of the generator and maybe some other aspects. It really depends on the generator. This one can change the position and how wide these stripes are. And then over in the generator inspector here, we can also do a lot of other things, including changing the colors and just a variety. You just have to explore for each of these what you can do, change the contrast, uh, change the phase. And of course, all these are animatable parameters. So you can see this little pop-up menu here. You can add a keyframe and keyframe any of these parameters. So these are very, very flexible. These are all just straight from motion, published to Final Cut Pro with these parameters published. So you just want to take a look at them to understand how they work and how you can apply uh, different effects with them. So that's point number one. Point number two, I'm going to delete this, is just how you deal with transparency. So for instance, we have one called a lens flare here. And if I bring the lens flare up and I'm going to position it over this uh, shot that we can no longer see uh, because a lens flare blocks it. So what you need to do with any ones where you want transparency, instead of going to the generator pane in the inspector, you'll go to the video pane. In the video pane, you can change the blend mode. So I'm going to change it from normal. I want to knock the black out. So I'm going to choose add. You could also do screen. It's not going to be quite as bright, but I'll choose add. And you can see that knocks that out, the black, and I still have this nice lens flare that I can place somewhere. Let me move the playhead more over this shot. And for instance, I could make the lens flare be popping on that glass right there. If I go back to the generator pane of the inspector, there I can adjust things like the color and the intensity of the lens flare, the size of the lens flare. And again, all these are keyframeable parameters. If you can see the little pop-up menu that shows up here, you can add keyframes right there. So that's just the quick and dirty on how you can install these and a couple tips about how to get the most out of them. We hope you enjoy them. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about how to use Final Cut Pro 10 or Motion 5, please check out our trainings on rippletraining.com. I'm Mark Spencer, and thanks for watching.